Since 1991, the Sid Meier's Civilization series has been hailed as one of the greatest PC strategy games ever made. This September, the flagship of the series returns, Sid Meier's Civilization V. With an all-new game engine and lush, incredible graphics, Civilization V earns its position as the ultimate strategy game experience and the finest civilization ever developed. In Sid Meier's Civilization V, players strive to become ruler of the world by establishing and leading a civilization from the dawn of man into the space age, waging war, conducting diplomacy, discovering new technologies, going head to head with some of history's greatest leaders, and building the most powerful empire the world has ever known. What if you were conquering the entire world, building a civilization to stand the test of time, all these cool things we could include, uh, technology, history, uh, military conquest, politics, culture, diplomacy. Uh, it just seemed like a very rich topic to, to approach with this idea of starting small, but then at, by the end of the game having gone through this kind of epic journey to uh, create a, a unique story of your own. Sid Meier's Civilization V introduces ultra-realistic graphics that showcase the thriving landscapes for you to explore, battle over, and claim as your own. Art Deco influences and touches abound in the menus and icons, creating an inviting presentation loaded with style. Civilization is about a game where you want to progress through history. And a lot of times in the here and now, uh, it can be depressing. You get a lot of bad news. And no one wants to play through a game where things are good and they get worse. And I thought Art Deco uh, was a time in our history where we were looking forward to all the good things that we had coming forward and we wanted to present that style as a way to have a very optimistic view about playing through history. Always looking forward, hope, optimism, that sort of thing. Civilization V brings community to the forefront, providing a host of modding tools and making the best of the fan mods accessible directly from the game. The Civ community has been pretty much vital to the development of this Civ and previous Civs. They are the driving force behind Civ, I would say. Yeah, we really want to bring modding uh, more to the forefront of the Civ experience. Uh, we found in Civ 4 that it became a big part of the community and a big part of what made the game so strong. And we really wanted to feature that so maybe more casual players would be more aware of the mods and more able to become involved. Gamers can compete with Civ players from all over the globe via the internet or compete locally in LAN matches. An in-game community hub allows gamers to share scenarios, brag about scores and achievements, and even visit top Civ fan sites without ever leaving the game. Multiplayer's always been important to Civilization V. I, I mean, there's just a huge audience out there of people playing constantly, especially in Civilization IV. Uh, there's entire communities built around having tournaments, uh, even, what is it now, four or five years since the release of the last game? Five. It's huge, and, and they have these sites that have modded the game in such a way that all the reporting comes straight into the websites. Uh, it's just it's just ongoing, so extremely important. Because you are working with another opponent, uh, another human will always be able to outthink even the best AI. Uh, they'll make mistakes and the AI won't, um, or they'll just do things that really logically have no sense, but you have no way of anticipating. Uh, and so you really need to be on your toes even more because it can be so unpredictable game for game. Sid Meier's Civilization V features an intuitive interface and ingenious scalability offering both casual and fully detailed in-depth gameplay options. So we want to make sure we kept the same amount of depth as you would see in Civ 4 and uh, you know, really make a game that had that in mind and, and kept that uh, tradition alive. From the custom music scores and orchestral recordings, immersive game audio, believable game world, and unparalleled gameplay, Sid Meier's Civilization V has a level of polish and quality appreciated by its millions of fans worldwide. For the soundtrack, um, there, we're using four regions of the world, and in each of those regions you can, you'll have a peace playlist and a war playlist. We've written probably over three hours of original music for leaders in this game, um, and I think about an hour and 45 minutes worth of music is actually going to be recorded uh, live with an orchestra and, uh, and a few pieces with choir. Civ V to me is, um, is really uh, an acknowledgement of the, the Civ community. It's something that, that uh, people have been asking for, have been you know, kind of waiting and when is this coming out. I think it, it really is a reflection of how strong the community is out there, how many ideas they've generated, 
how they've kind of inspired us to be creative and try new things with, with civilization. So it's really uh, the fact that there's this very um, active, dynamic, uh, uh, and, and, and interactive community out there that kind of inspires us to do new versions of civilization because you know they, they've given us a, a lot of great feedback, uh, a lot of love on Civ 4, uh, but now they're kind of ready for, uh, for the next iteration, and, and, and that's what Civ 5 represents. Sid Meier's Civilization 5, available this September for PC.